Hey everyone, welcome back to the graph series. In this video, we are going to discuss a very interesting problem that is going to lay down the foundations of the further upcoming topics in the graph series. So problem that we are going to take up in this session is to prove that a tree, everybody knows about a tree, it's an acyclic graph, right? So a graph without having cycle and it's a connected graph. So prove that a tree with n nodes has n minus 1 edges, right? This is a fact that a lot of people who have already learned graph uh, algorithms already know about. But I believe, to be very honest, that uh, it's very important to learn how to prove these kind of facts, right? Because later when you are going to learn about some uh, further harder topics of, I would say, computer science and algorithms and data structures, these proving mechanisms are going to be really very important. So let's just start. So in order to prove this fact, what we are going to use? We are going to take the help of principle of mathematical induction, right? That is also called as PMI, right? Using PMI, a lot of uh, algorithmic proofs can be done. So this is one of such examples. So let's see. So let's say I define a function f of n, right? This function returns the number of edges in a tree with n nodes, right? Let's say we have defined this function. Now, principle of mathematical induction has got three steps, right? So the first step is the base case. Step one, base case. The base case is, let's say, what if n is equals to 1, that is f of 1. f of 1 means that the tree is only having one node. And if the tree is only having one node, we can directly say it is not going to have any edge. So f of 1 is going to be equal to 0. And can I say proved for base case? Proved for base case. Can I say that? Because we wanted to have n nodes tree having n minus 1 edges so if the tree is having one node only it is going to have zero edge now the second step is of assumption the second is the assumption step that what we are going to do we are going to assume about the fact that f of 1 is equals to n minus 1 right we assume that f of n works completely fine f of n works completely fine right because having this assumption what we are going to do this can be treated as a small problem and we can use this small problem in order to prove a bigger problem so now the third step of principle of mathematical induction is proof so what we are going to do we will try to calculate or we, this can also be called as self work right we will try to calculate the value of f of n plus 1. We already know the answer of f of n. Now we have to calculate the answer of f of n plus 1. Now just think about it. What is f of n plus 1? What is this n plus 1 denoting? n plus 1 denotes about the fact that the tree is going to have n plus 1 nodes, right? This says that n plus 1 denotes that tree is having n plus 1 nodes right the tree is having n plus 1 nodes now in this case now in this case the think about the fact we already know that f of n is equals to n minus 1 that is a tree having n nodes is going to have n minus 1 edges this we have assumed that this is going to be correct now just think about it when we talk about n plus 1 nodes that means we are adding one more node to the n node tree n plus 1 node tree is equal to a tree with n nodes and one more node right one more node getting attached to the tree right and just think about it if you want to attach another node to the tree you will be attaching it to some already present nodes for example 
let's say this is your tree once again let's say this is your tree right this is connected here this is connected here and these are connected here this is connected here. okay this this is the tree now let's say you introduced one more node now this node can be connected to any other node already present in the tree right this node can be connected to this this node can be connected to this this can get connected to this so on and so forth now in order to connect this new node with any of the already present nodes how many edges we want we can just connect it with one more edge can i say that so f of n plus 1 is going to be equal to what f of n that is the number of edges required for n nodes plus number of edges required to add one more node to the tree right and f of n is equals to what f of n is n minus 1 plus we know that the number of edges required to add one more node in the tree is what one so one so this is f of n plus 1 so f of n plus 1 is equals to n minus 1 plus 1 is equals to n hence proved right so here you can see in order to make a tree of n plus 1 nodes we require n edges and this proves the fact that any tree which is going to have n nodes is going to have n minus 1 edges right and this is due to the fact that tree is a connected graph and an acyclic graph as well so in order to maintain the connectivity we need at least one more edge to make sure that the new node coming to the tree is getting attached to the tree so i hope this uh, basic problem is clear to everyone and now you actually know that why tree has got n minus 1 edges with n nodes right now you actually know mathematically why this thing works so that was it for this video we will meet in the next video guys till then take care bye bye have a great week ahead and love you all